had been a full band for approximately three weeks at that time or something. Was it that long? Uh, maybe. <laughs> if that, I don't remember. He did most of this stuff, you know, over the, over the email. Uh, you know, MySpace is crazy that way. You just dig, dig up employees and shit. But, <laughs> so, um, you know, we didn't really have a chance to think things out or, or you know, really fine-tune the, the sound that we wanted when we yeah. wanted to record with Nick. It was, it was just kind of like, you know, let's throw this down, get the demo, people can, you know, hear what we're trying to do. But with this, we had, you know, so much time to really think out the individual parts of the songs, and uh, everything came into fruition. I think that the sound that we were looking for uh, definitely formed itself in this recording process. Uh, I would completely agree. Absolutely. <laughs> You know, you, you come in here, James kicks your ass, essentially, and, uh, you know, working with, uh, with you know, Pro Tools and all this crazy shit that I've never had to work with before, it's like, I don't know, it's just, you learn a whole lot, you become yeah. a better player, yeah, and, no and, better and, and your band becomes better at the end of it, man, you know, you just, you know, conform to the, conform to the professional process rather than, you know, tape on, just fucking throw something out, you know, right. it's the way it used to be, I mean, I've never done any anything this involved before, so it's just fucking nuts, it's great. Well, I'm in the same boat, you know, I've done a lot of, uh, I guess you could say, recordings in my time, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, this has definitely been the most professional oriented, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, type, it, of, it's, type of vibe. It's rare to find you know? a decent studio that uh, with, with a guy that does metal pretty much primarily, or, or uh, you know, has done a lot of metal, has experience with it, because... The first time I went to record my old band, it was uh, out in Bowling Green with a guy that had done a bunch of country stuff. Yeah. You know, I think he did like um, like Nashville Pussy and like uh, the, the, the Kentucky Headhunters. Yeah. One of their albums. So you know, we go in there, you know, like half a death metal band. Yeah. And he has no idea. He's like completely mesmerized just by the fact that we're playing this insane shit. Much less knows how to EQ it or has ever heard it before. You know, so to, to find somebody like James that's done this time and time again and everything he puts out sounds great. Right. I feel really lucky. Uh, I'm confident. Uh, I have I have nothing but confidence in this, especially uh, you know, in the quality. It's you know you could already you could already tell from, you know, our squ scratch work mm -hmm. that it's gonna be something special. Yeah, you know? yeah. The, the pre-production sounds better than anything that I've ever yeah. done at this point right yeah. now, and it's not yeah. even like <laughs> the keeper track, so it's, yeah, it's nuts. We're pretty psyched about it. I'm ready to yeah. kick my own ass into the dirt for another you know, three weeks. Yeah, become an even better guitar player. It's crazy. And then you get to do vocals. Tired of jipping, you bastards, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do good this time, I swear. <laughs> yeah, vocals are gonna be fun. Yeah, and then uh, he's gonna be chiming in on vocals as well, and that's, uh, you know, that's probably gonna be one of the final steps in this whole yoke mouth process. So, that uh, I'm definitely looking, I'm definitely looking forward to that. You know, yeah, this has been uh, killer. It's been absolutely killer. Yeah, and, uh, can't wait to do more of it. Absolutely, fucking sick. <laughs> Word, swats away, yo mama. Cheers. <laughs> All right, another pre pro track down. Poppin'. I'll have it be known that this man smells fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>